everyone, welcome back to Gracie Mae's Tarot. As you can see, Gracie is literally hanging out right now, um, so I have the camera turned kind of strangely. <laughs> so anyway, this is meant to be a super short reading. I've never actually done a reading this short before, I don't think. Um, so anyway, we have three groups to choose from today. For a pile one, we have the little movie night. For a pile two, we have fall into cozy books. And then for pile three, we have just being me. So take a moment, pause the video, meditate on the groups if you need to. The timestamps are listed below in the description box, just like always. Um, I will also say, wait, oh, I didn't even introduce the topic. Okay, <laughs> this is a message from your soul. And this is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter, you know, when you're watching this, it can still apply. Also, I will just turn the camera for a second. I think you can see Gracie. She's so cute. All right, sorry. So anyway, <laughs> take a moment, meditate on the groups if you need to, and I will see you all in your reading. Thank you for letting Gracie hang out. I appreciate it. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this is my cat, Gracie. She is taking over the filming space. Here she goes. Hold on. <laughs> Um, so she's going to be hanging out in your reading today until she gets bored of us. So we have the Three of Sea or the Three of Cups. We have the Sky Queen, which is the King, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Sky or the Seven of Swords. We have the Cat, which is the full card in this deck. We have the Fire King or the King of Wands. And we have the High Priestess. We also have this card that says Pedestal here. Okay. So I want this to be a quick reading, very straightforward. This is a message from your soul. There's definitely some people in your environment or maybe it's just one person that's been having a lot of influence over you, but your soul really wants you to stop and reflect and think about who is trying to essentially bait you to step off of your pedestal, okay? Who gets you out of your energy? Who makes you feel off-centered? Like, you know, those days when you're feeling really good, you're feeling very much like in alignment, in your peace, in your own energy, who provokes you or who tempts you to step off of this pedestal? Who brings out a side to you that you don't quite care for? You know, because your soul is really calling you towards this card here that Gracie is now uh, claiming for herself. <laughs> this card is really asking you like, who do you feel at peace with? You know, the Three of Cups typically talks about a celebration, but you can see the seal and these two cats, or maybe you could before Gracie stepped on it. Um, <laughs> they seem very at peace, right? They seem like they're relaxing. Like, who causes you to feel at peace? You know, who helps you retain like, you know, it's sort of that saying like, you know, when you're so close to someone, it feels like you're by yourself in a good way. You know, like someone isn't overly influencing you. Like, you know, it's an introvert's dream, right? To spend time with someone and have it feel like you're on your own, you know, in a good way. So who helps you feel at peace? You know, your soul really wants you to connect to your soul family. Like, who lights up your heart without making you feel these intense, uncomfortable emotions like anger, frustration? Like, who lights your heart on fire in a good way? Because I think that you want to be in your light. I think you want to be happy and joyful and peaceful, and you don't want to have to call upon this energy. Like, you don't want to have to be tough. You don't want to have to put people in their place. You know, you don't want to engage in confrontation and drama and, you know, you don't want to feel like you have to be on guard. You know, like you see how she's watching from this tree, you know, and she's clutching it for safety and there's like wind and leaves blowing around and it looks like winter time. Like you don't want to have to be so protective and on guard all the time. Like you want to be around people that you can relax with and feel comfortable and people who have good intentions for you. You know, you want to be lighthearted. You want to be open. You want to just trust, you know, and not have to rely upon your intuition, not have to form like this protective spiritual barrier around you, you know, like you don't want to have these 
duplicitous people around you who are stealing your energy you know those energy vampires like you just your soul is just calling for this peace you know and so whatever way that you can do that whether it's you know creating some distance you know leaving certain environments leaving certain social circles you know seeking out those more positive connections whatever that's going to look like you know it's just time for you to stop having to step off this pedestal you know it's time for you to feel like you are around good people your soul is craving healthy happy connections all right thank you all for your patience with gracie like <laughs> posting up in your reading. I hope this resonated. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. The easiest way to support the channel is to watch the ads, and I will see you all in my next one. Take care, pile one. Hi, pile two. Welcome to your reading. For those of you who don't know, this is my cat, Gracie. Uh, she's been laying on the filming space and I don't want to make her move, so she's just gonna hang out. This is supposed to be a quick reading, so I think it'll be all right. Um, so we have the Six of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Sun. And then we also have Autumn here. So, <laughs> wow like i don't think any other group is going to be as positive as this i feel like this is difficult to beat so with the six of wands this talks about victory we have ten of cups this is happiness emotional fulfillment ace of wands new chapters fresh starts king of wands that's a very empowered action oriented energy we have the sun illuminating everything with joyfulness and happiness and optimism and hope Wow, so I feel like the autumn season is either going to be bringing in this energy for you or it's going to represent a time in your life where things are cleared away to welcome this in. So this is general reading, so it's going to vary, but the message from your soul is regardless, either during or after the autumn season, expect your ship to come in we have the six of swords so i suspect that you've had a difficult time like i suspect that you've been having a lot of trouble you know it may be multiple areas of your life it may be just a certain relationship or a certain situation or maybe your job but there's something there where the waves have been choppy and you've been needing some sort of help, some sort of assistance, you, you need to move, like you need to physically get away from a person or an environment or a situation that has just ran its course, you know, and is dragging you down. And the minute you get that space, that's when this new adventure, this new chapter is going to start. And it really feels like the autumn season again is either clearing away to make space for all this or it is the first start the first spark of all of this abundance coming towards you because there's victory here there's success there's emotional fulfillment it's like your soul wants to assure you like i know that things have been hard and tough and difficult but there is a literal rainbow like and metaphorically as well <laughs> at the end of all of this you know like it's it, it's almost like this is sort of the light at the end of the tunnel but it's been within you this whole time like you're both heading towards the light and you are the light um your soul is just wanting to say like you are stepping into that king of wands energy like you are going to feel successful you're gonna feel victorious you're gonna feel emotionally fulfilled so what have you been craving in your soul so what isn't serving you and what has your soul been craving what have you been trying to call in what have you been trying to move towards remember it's a general reading but you you should already have that answer within you okay and so that will tell you for you as an individual watching this what is coming forward here have you been craving a soulmate connection have you been wanting success in your career have you been wanting to actually move somewhere have you been wanting a new home have you been wanting your soul family what have you been craving because wow are you getting it and i and i think it's even going to exceed your expectations 
Um, but yeah, I could see this referring to career. I could see this referring to home and family and love. I could see it referring to a whole new clean slate in your life. So whatever it is, expect the autumn season to be quite significant. Um, but yes, so pile two, this was your reading. I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. The easiest way to support the channel is to simply watch the ads. If you would like more, um, you know, like short little readings like this, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you all for you know, letting Gracie hang out in your reading. I appreciate it. I don't have the heart to move her when she looks so cozy and comfortable. Um, but yes, so this was your reading pile too. I'll see you in my next one. Best of luck to you with everything. Hang in there and sending you lots of love. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this is my cat, Gracie. She's going to hang out in your reading today. I don't have the heart to move her from the filming table, so here we are. This is going to be a short reading anyway, so it's going to be all right. <laughs> we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And then your group got two cards. I think it's so cool. You got the Fire Dance and the Fire Element. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> Message from your soul here. Your soul is kind of coming through with kind of a a little bit of a tough love message, but it's because they really, really want it to be clear and they want to reassure you of this. Now, this may not seem like the most spiritual of messages, but the Seven of Swords in this deck has kind of a unique meaning in the guidebook. It talks about doing what is necessary for yourself, even if that means you have to be strategic or even a little bit clever or cunning, kind of like the energy of a fox in like a fable. You know, even if you have to be less direct, less, less directly honest than what you would typically prefer, do what you have to do because sometimes certain circumstances necessitate it. Given that we have the seven of wands here, it feels like you are backed up against a corner and you have a lot coming at you at one time and it feels like people are holding your feet to the fire. There's a lot of pressure on you at this time and it feels like there are some sticky situations that you're trying to navigate and I do think that for most of you this is talking about your career. Um, for some of you it could be talking about a relationship. It could be both. I do think for most of you, though, this is in relation to it's something related to your finances and your stability and your security. So this could be talking about like a situation with roommates, like if you live with someone else. Um, but I do think for most of you, it is talking about your career in some regard. But it, your, your soul is really saying like, do what you have to do for yourself. You know, no one is going to look after you the way that you're going to look after you. And if you want to get from this Four of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, if you want to see that growth, if you want to get to where you want to be, you're going to have to assert yourself with fire dance. Like you're going to have to dance through those difficult situations. You're going to have to find the drive and the motivation and that inner fire to stand up for yourself, advocate for yourself. But yeah, it's also saying like, if you've got to burn some bridges along the way, then burn those bridges. You know, like with the seven of swords, it's really calling out to me here. Like you have to do what is best for you. You can't put your dreams and your goals on hold for the sake of appeasing other people. So I'll give a personal example of this. I have been wanting to leave my job and I have a coworker who really, really wants me to stay. And I know that they've been actively looking for another job as well, but they haven't found it yet. But I can't stay in a circumstance that is detrimental to my own mental health just so I can stay and appease my coworker who is also actively looking. And I think if truth be told, 
I think truth be told, if they had already found another job, they would be out the door too. Like, I don't think that they would stay just to make me happy. So, you know, like even though I'm friends with this person, at the end of the day, I have to do what is best for me. And so that was a difficult conversation to have and I, you know, like had to be careful about how I phrased it to them and I wasn't able to say it just like I'm telling you right now. So there may be some kind of situation like that. Just apply it, how it resonates to your life because this is a general reading, but your soul, your soul is saying here, do what you have to do for you. Like no one else is making you a priority the way you're gonna make yourself a priority. And that's why I said it may not sound like the most spiritual of messages, but like you, you literally do have to put yourself first. Like at the end of the day, you're the only one who's going to bat for you the way that you're going to bat for yourself, you know? So you deserve this 10 of pentacles. You deserve to be in the energy of the queen of pentacles. Like, you know that you deserve more than this four of pentacles. And you don't deserve to be in this seven of wands and having people hold your feet to the fire and having people stress you out. Like, you are the fire. You don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to be, like, burned by other people. So... You know, whatever this case may be, like, do what you have to do to get out of that unfulfilling situation, relationship, circumstance, environment, whatever the case may be, and put yourself first. It's time for you to feel like your soul is happy. It's time for you to feel like your soul is passionate and excited and has this drive to live like it's a lust for life like that's what you deserve like you deserve to wake up and feel in love with the way your life is going and the direction that it's headed in and if other people can't understand that or make you feel guilty about putting yourself first at the end of the day that's their issue and they should ask themselves why they don't want you to be happy they don't want you to put yourself first they don't want the best for you that's their issue, not yours. So pile three, this was your reading. Again, if you like these like short to the point readings, just let me know and I'm happy to make more. Thank you all for letting Gracie hang out in your reading today. I appreciate it. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you always know when I upload. The easiest way to support the channel is to simply watch the ads. I know they can be super annoying, but I do appreciate it. And again, a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel thus far. I wish you all the very best, and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care, Pile 3.